Hey, how you doing? I'm Big Paulie. This guy here, this is Benny two times. How you doing? And we're the wise guys. We want to welcome you back to our weekly show, We Pick the Winners, where we give you insights into the NFL games. <laughs> you got that right. We also want to tell you all about our weekly tailgate recipe of the week. A fortnight of weeks. Sent in by one of our viewers just for us to try. We also have our bust out game of the week and our ironclad pick the whack of the week brought to you by those wonderful people at Wacker 6000. That would be us. Don't you think that we have forgotten about the trivia girls? They will be here as well. <laughs> and as always, we want to thank our sponsor, who none of this could happen without, Antonio Critelli, owner of the Pizza Palace. Antonio. Antonio. All right, let's pick a game. Yeah. Okay, first up, we have the 6-3 San Diego Chargers at the 6-3 Denver Broncos in a tussle for first place in AFC West. Paulie, who do you like? All right, it's really simple. I actually watched the games this last week, and I'm thinking, okay, Denver Broncos, they're doing this. San Diego Chargers, they're doing this. Oh, yeah. I'm calling for the San Diego Chargers on this because I don't think the Broncos are going to pull out of the landslide they have fallen into. I'm looking at 28-24. It will be a hard-fought game, but not impossible. Ooh, a squeak up. Like it. Well, I'm sticking with the, with the winner here. I'm going with TV and film for inspiration just like last week. I look at what? San Diego, well, Anchorman, Ron Burgundy. Hey, he got the, Will Ferrell got it, Christine Applegate at the end. Gotta love it. Panther what do, sweat. Yeah, what do we got with Denver? Oh, Bob Denver. Well, Gilligan from Gilligan's Island? Come on, he was stranded on an island with two hot babes. Never scored. Just like Denver. Denver hasn't done anything in the last three weeks. San Diego's going to electrify the Broncos in Denver, 28-3. Nice, nicely. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, Antonio is doing it again. I love this part. Tell us about it. Hey, Antonio Gratelli here, owner of the Pizza Palace, here with our trivia girl. Hi, Antonio. We're here for our weekly tailgate recipe of the week. Mm -hmm. And this week it comes from uh, Jim Johnson from San Francisco. Hi. He recommends a grilled chicken breast. So here's how you do it. What we do is in honor of Jim, we're using San Francisco Bay Area's finest Colombo rolls. Now what you do is you take your mustard. We recommend Weber's horseradish mustard. Bed it with a little bit of lettuce on your, sa on your sandwich. Take your grilled chicken breast. And by the way, I marinated my breast with Italian special sauce. Me too. Ooh. And if you would like the so re recipe, email me. I'll give it to you. Then take one of your grilled tomatoes with Swiss cheese on it. Put your mm. California avocado on top of it. Mm. Oh, and there you go. You're looking good here, huh, girls? Uh -huh. Put the chips of your choice on your plate, and there you go. Ooh. You got it. San Francisco's grilled chicken breasts. And now, back, back to, to the, the wise guys. guys. Thank you, Antonio. Smells delicious. Can't wait for the end of the show when we can eat. Mm-hmm. All right. It's time for our bust out, bust out game of the week. And this bust out game of the week has the three and six Washington Redskins at the six and three Dallas Cowboys as they resume a classic NFC East rivalry. Benny two times, tell me what you think. Okay, here's what I like. Again, with inspiration through film and TV, I'm looking at the Washington Redskins. Dances with Wolves. Hey, Kevin Costner, come on. What, what, you can't get any better than that. And what great names, you know, Ten Bears. And even the women had strong names. Stands with a fist. I'm looking over at the Dallas Cowboys. What do we got? Oh, the TV show Dallas with J.R. Ewan. Who shot J.R.? Not bad. I liked it until it was a dream sequence. Come on. Come on. So Washington's going to be dancing all over the dreamers at Dallas in a tight one. 54 to 53. Wow. Ineluctably logical. But in this case, wrong. What? Yeah. We'll see. The owners of the Washington Redskins have never treated any of their players properly and are generally just a bunch of freaking idiots. So Whoa. I have got to go with the Dallas Cowboys in this case. They're playing good ball and they're just going to kick the crap out of the Washington Redskins this week. It's not even going to be close. I'm looking at somewhere around 35, maybe 42 points for Dallas. If uh, Washington even gets one touchdown, I will be impressed. That's it. Uh, well, that would definitely qualify as a blowout. Are oh, you looking very spiffy oh, right Yeah, got to look good for the trivia girls. That's right. We got the trivia girls and we got a new trivia girl this <laughs> yeah. week. So, trivia girls, wow us with your intellect. You again. Hiya. This is Tay, hello, and I'm A, and we are the Trivia Girls! And in case you haven't been paying attention, each week we will ask you, the viewer, a trivia question. And you email us your answer at ssyesguys at aol.com. 
Every correct answer will be entered into a drawing for our grand prize, which we will pick live on a show. <laughs> and you can enter as many weeks as you want. <laughs> and without further ado, the lovely A will give you your trivia question. Who was the first NFL quarterback to pass for over 4,000 yards in a season? Was it John Unitas? Or Broadway, Joe, name it. <laughs> Email us your trivia answer and any tailgate recepes to sswiseguys at aol.com. And now, now back, back to, to the, the wise, wise guys. guys. Trivia girls, thank you so much. God, they just keep getting prettier and smarter. And prettier. Mm -hmm. All right, this is it. This is the part of the show hey, where we're going to... Where can I find a Vinny two times? <clears throat> I know of any two times, what's it to you? Well, I heard he wants to put makeup on Adrian Peterson. Yeah, who wants to know? Me. I'm Leslie, Adrian Peterson's little brother. That's who. <laughs> Whoa. Leslie? Paul, is everybody in this family have a name like a girl? <laughs> What'd you say? Relax, Leslie. Just having a little fun with last week with Paulie, that's all. Oh. So, Vinny, two times. Yeah, we're about it. Yeah, I bet you can't call me a girl to my face. Yeah, you're right, because you're too tall. Now, let us finish the show, huh? What's the matter, you chicken? Oh, huh? oh, oh, you shouldn't have done that. Okay, okay, you win, you win. I'll say it to your face. But you're going to have to bend over. Oh, and now it's time for our Whack of the Week. <laughs> okay, my ironclad cat miss, Whack of the Week, has the 9-0... New Orleans Saints at the one and eight Tampa Bay Buccaneers. No more TV for inspiration, no more movies for inspiration. Let me say it this way. Nine and oh against one and eight. Nine and oh, one and eight. And by the way, the Buccaneers wear puffy shirts like a girl. Mm. New, uh, New Orleans Saints blow them out 74 to three. And perfectly logical, and I'm going to go a different way. My whack of the week is going to be the Cincinnati Bengals over the Oakland Raiders. Cincinnati beat my men of steel last week. I'm not picking against them twice. They're playing great ball. That's the right. Raiders, on the other hand, got a lot of great players. They're supposed to be a tough team, but as a team, they've got all the stability of a jello mold. I'm <laughs> saying that it's going to be the Cincinnati Bengals eating up the Raiders somewhere around 35 to 3. Not even close. Whoa. Oh, I'm a pretty little girl. All right, it is that time in the show where we prove to you that we've been paying attention. Here's a recap. Last week, Vinny two times did very well for himself. He went two and one. Not bad, I'm on a comeback. But his problem is that I also went two and one, so I'm still ahead in this little competition. Yeah, on a lucky spot against New England. Come on, everybody knew we got the first down, right? No luck about it, he was driven back. All right, you're gonna do that to me? That's the music, that means it's the end of the show, so we gotta say thank you to a lot of people. First and foremost, thank you, Antonio Fratelli, our sponsor from the Pizza Palace. My pleasure every week. And we also wanna say thank you to the wonderful, the beautiful, the lovely, the lissom, the intellectual trivia girls. Thanks, wise guys. Oh, I love it when they're here. We also wanna say thank you to our surprise guest of the week, Leslie Peterson. Adrian Peterson's little brother. Yeah. Don't know what happened to him. What happened to him, huh? And uh, for the weekly tailgate recipe of the week, thank you very much, Jim Johnson. Appreciate that from San Francisco. Also, last things, we got to say thank you to the people from the Wacker 6000. That would be us. So, thank you. Thank you. There you go. Come on back and see us again next week on We Pick the Winners. In the meantime, let's eat. Manja, manja, baby. <laughs> <laughs>